told you life was gonna be this way. Your job's a joke, you broke, your love lives the old way. It's like you're always stuck in second gear. But when it hasn't been your day, Good morning, Phoenix High School. I'm Mariana Segura. And I'm Diana Camir. We have a lot of announcements, so let's get started. Seniors, you must turn in your pictures by this Friday. Here's a segment to tell you the deeds. Look at all these wonderful senior pictures. Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Tom grabs you by the rest, directs you where to go. But we're still missing yours. This is the very last time to turn in your senior pictures, or we will use your school ones, like Don't these. Don't ask why. It's not a question. Seniors, get your pictures turned in to Mr. Rhodes, or email them at phoenixhsmedia at gmail.com. Last chance to turn in your pictures, February 26th, or else school pictures will be used. Attention all graduating seniors, your grad night party at the Family Fun Center is in the planning stages and we need your help and participation to make it happen. Um, what can you do? Get your parents and yourself involved. We meet every Thursday at 6.30 in the PHS Library. It is not necessary to come to every meeting. Even the smallest contribution helps. Um, come auction canvassing with us on Saturday, February 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We will be meeting in the PHS bus loop at 10 a.m. Seniors, win a great prize for participation. One, make a theme basket or bring an item for the grad night auction. Items must be new and unused or of an antique vintage origin. Value should be at least $15. All grads donating an auction basket or item will be entered into a drawing for an awesome prize. Items may be handed in at any grad night meeting on Thursday at 6.30 between now and May 12th. Seniors will not need to be present to win this prize. Two, hand out grad night auction invitations. There will be a place at the bottom of the invitation for your name to be entered into a drawing for an awesome prize. Invitations will be available at the, off at the office on April 18th. Senior does not need to be present to win this prize. Three, bring a dessert and stay and help out at the grad night auction on May 15th from 11 a.m. until we are done. There will be a drawing at the end of cleanup for another awesome prize. Seniors must be present to win for this one prize drawing. Prizes will be valued from $200 to $300, and seniors will only be able to win once. Prizes to be announced on PHTV soon. You can pick up a handout explaining all of this at the office and take it home with you to share with your parents. Allison Pickner's senior project, Open Your Heart to Children, is a collaborative effort with the Children's Advocacy Center to gather necessities that some children have gone without due to their family's financial shortcomings. Allison has put together a small drive to help collect these essential items through the entire month of February, as she hopes to give these young children the chance to start this year off properly. Please drop any of the following items off at the office. Um, school supplies, art supplies, personal care items such as toothpaste, toothbrushes, hairbrushes, shampoo, body wash, and deodorant. New small toys for younger children, new books in English or Spanish, new family board games, small individual cans of Play-Doh, new backpacks, new blankets. Any of these items would be greatly appreciated. All my future My Choice members, please make sure to be prepared for your first lesson with your group at Talent Middle School this Wednesday, February 24th. Please do not miss your bus. In Relay for Life, we'll be meeting on Thursdays at lunch in room N412. All students interested, interested in fundraising for a cure for cancer are welcome to join in this fun and worthwhile activity. Again, Relay for Life, Thursdays at lunch in room 412. Be there. In other news, things are really heating up in speech and debate. Here's a segment to show you what's going on. What is speech and debate? Hi, I'm Mr. Roderick. I coach speech and debate here at the high school, and I'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about the program. So we meet once a week. It's got um, various features to it. We have debates, we have speeches, and freshmen through seniors can participate. So generally we'll have a tournament once a month, and then uh, we have congresses once a month. So part of it is a chance for you to pretend uh, as though uh, you're changing the world. So you get to create bills or resolutions. and. Uh, 
Uh, basically talk about problems that you think exist uh, as of right now and how you'd like to change those problems. So you meet with kids from South, North, Grants Pass, Butte Falls, uh, and we go up to Portland at times. And so it's a great opportunity for you to talk, improve your speaking skills, uh, get you thinking and questioning, and uh, it's a great experience. So if you're interested, come by uh, and talk to us sometime. What are the upcoming events for speech and debate? March 2nd, Congress at North Medford. March 5th, National Congress at Grants Pass. March 11th and 12th, Tournament at the University of Oregon. April 2nd, Districts to be announced. Did you know that it's National FFA Week starting today? The FFA chapter has, plan has events planned for each day this week. Monday, wear FFA shirts or any FFA gear. Tuesday, wear green because at 6 p.m. that night, there's the green hand and chapter ceremony. Wednesday, everybody wears FFA official dress. We have extra jackets and ties. Thursday, we are going bowling after school. And Friday, root beer floats will be served during break if you participate. Attention juniors and seniors who need credit retrieval. Mrs. Pond will be opening up the Diploma Center for the first three days of spring break, which are Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, March 16th through 18th from 9 to 12. Please see your counselor to sign up or Mrs. Pond if you have any questions. Priority will be given to seniors. In sports news, the boys basketball team had a game last Tuesday at Hidden Valley and fell with a score of 28 to 56. The girls basketball team had a game Wednesday at KU but unfortunately fell with a score of 53 to 75. The wrestlers had their regional competition this past weekend and PHS Wrestling qualified six wrestlers for state next weekend. Trace Vega was regional cha champ. Cedar King, Hunter McAllister, Justin Knight all came in second. Zach Atterbury came in third and freshman Dalton Salmis rounded out the state qualify qualifying team with a fourth place finish. It was really tough. It was a really tough tournament and all the boys wrestled tough. Great season PHS wrestling. In swimming news, our boys won the district championships by a margin of four points over North Bend with the remaining teams in our wake. Our girls team finished right in the middle in fifth place. Pirate records were set two weeks ago. Ethan Shepard's 53 times are of 22.39 seconds broke our assistant coach Justin Heath's 2005 time 22.41 seconds for a new school record. He teamed up with Bryce Roy, Eddie Stewart, and Thomas Ward to set a new medley relay record of 149.63. Ethan also claimed our only other event title in the 100 free. Our double event finalists were Lauren Speaks, 200 IM, 100 breasts, Eddie Stewart, 200 IM, 100 fly, and Emily Samudio, 100 fly, and 500 free. More great races were on display, and important team points were captured by additional, additional pirate finalists, Alex Shepard, 200 free, Taylor Brown, 200 IM, Brent Flynn, 100 fly, Bryce Rory, 100 back, and Thomas Ward, 100 breasts. We had 16 of our 28 swimmers placed in the top 12. Great job, Phoenix swimmers. This past weekend, the swimmers competed at the state championships with three of our state team athletes topping the top, making the top in six in Friday's preliminaries, advancing to Saturday's finals. In finals, Lauren Speaks came home with a second place silver medal in the 100 breaststroke. stroke. Ethan Shepard's 53 efforts brought home a fourth place medal. Emily Samudio's 100 fly made her a sixth place medalist too. Overall, our girls team placed 10th and the boys team placed 11th at state. Speaking of sports, there's only one week until spring sports begin. Here's a segment to tell you more. Spring sports. I'm Albert Funes. And I'm Corey Romig. We are here to inform you about spring sports. There are many different sports, like golf and... Wait, wait, stop. Stop. Remember, you need to have a current physical that is not older than two years, current insurance and clearance papers signed. Oh, and don't forget about the fees and grades, man. Oh yeah, you need to pay $75 to participate, plus five classes passed for the previous quarter and currently passing five classes. All right, Corey, you can finish this with the sports now. All right, as I was saying, there's golf, track, and there's baseball and softball. Everything has to be taken care of before practice officially begins February 29th. Paperwork can be turned into Miss Mary Merriman at the front office. Spring sports season starts March 1st. For boys golf, see coaches Campania and Carson. Girls golf, see coach Ingle. For track and field, see coach Boone. Baseball, see coaches Hutch and Stapp. 
Softball, Coach Vandenbush. Girls Golf will start on Monday, February 29th. We will meet in the English Computer Lab at 345 for equipment information and general, rule, general rules of golf. Plan on being there until 5 o'clock p.m. Contact Coach Ingle if any questions. Seniors, the deadline to complete your OSAC scholarship application is coming up quickly. Applications must be submitted online by March 1st. This is a huge scholarship opportunity and any student can find a scholarship that will be a good fit for them. See Ms. House for help on the application. The Sosa Chavez Leadership Conference will be held at SAU on Friday, March 11th. This conference is geared towards Latino students and will feature workshops on leadership, college, and career skills. This event is open to all grade levels. Seamus has to pick up information slip. Barnes & Noble is hosting a My Favorite Teacher contact contest. Just for the record, that is not Mr. Rhodes for me. This provides students an opportunity to tell their community how much their teachers are appreciated by writing an essay, poem, or thank you letter explaining how a teacher has influenced their life and why they appreciate and admire them. For more information, pick up a flyer in the library. There are prom committee meetings every Monday after school in room S202 until prom for anyone who is interested in helping. Don't forget advisor reps. There is an advisor rep meeting on February 24th at lunch in the library. Pizza will be served. Now it's time for trivia. Last week's question was, when are the prom committee meetings? And the winner is... Wow, so many. <laughs> Got one slip here. <laughs> Sarah Pacheco and Mrs. Redding's advisory. Make sure you pick up your prize in Mr. Rhodes' classroom. This week's question is, when and where are the Relay for Life meetings? Turn in your answer in the manila envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. And as always, this has been your school, your people, and your, your news. news. Finally I figured out